25th anniversary. It's fantastic to be here in China for this celebration and it's really fantastic to have you all with us. Um, we're here to celebrate all of the achievements in this field over the past 25 years and also to look to the future. And for us, the reason that jazz has been such a successful journal is because of our contacts with the community and our relationship with our authors and our readers and our referees. So it's fabulous to have a big group of people here to celebrate with us. We're also very glad to have participants in our symposium from all over the world, from Europe, from North America, from Australia, from Japan, and also from here in China. And it really is great to see such a broad array um, of countries represented and also subjects within the field of comics <coughs> and dramatry. Um, I just want to say a couple of very short words um, before we begin properly. And the first thing, I just thought I would introduce you very briefly to the Royal Society of Chemistry. Jazz is published by RSC Publishing, which is part of the Royal Society of Chemistry. We are one of the largest organizations in the world for the advancement of chemical sciences. We have 46,000 members worldwide, and we have an agreement with the Chinese Chemical Society so that anybody who is a member of the Chinese Chemical Society also gets benefits of membership of the Royal Society of Chemistry. And that relationship is very important to us. We also have a publishing business as part of that, which fits with the charter of our organization, which is to foster the chemical sciences by the dissemination of chemical knowledge. And that really means that we just want to share the information that is there and the exciting things happening in the chemical sciences with as many of the community as possible. There are three of us from the RSC here today. I'm Nia O'Connor, and I'm the publisher for Jazz. This is my colleague May, who is the editor of the journal, and my colleague Deping Zhang, who is our publisher here in China. And each of them will say a few words. <laughs> Thank you. 
在内的话呢，希望大家能够踊跃的提问。啊，如果大家用中文提问的话也是可以的，没有问题。然后我们可以安排翻译给大家来翻译成英文。啊，希望大家能够喜欢啊，今天我们组织的这个研讨会，然后真正的 enjoy 我们的 professional life here。Thank you very much. And now I'll just introduce you again to Dr. May Copley, the editor of Jazz. We'd just like to say a few words before we start today. <coughs> Good morning, everyone, and a very warm welcome to the symposium today. And I'd just say thank you all very much for coming and, uh, and supporting Jazz in this way. As I'm sure you know, uh, Jazz, the strength of Jazz very much comes from community, as Neve said. And this has really helped us over the past 25 years to become the central journal for fundamentals in experimental analysis and isotope ratio determination. And we really hope that JAS has, has now got application in all fields of, of research. JAS is, is a very successful journal and has an impact factor of 3.4. And uh, we would like to encourage as much uh, research from China. So I do. Uh, I do encourage you to come and speak to me uh, over the day and talk about your research as I would love to hear about this. As Neve mentioned, um, Professor Zhang is our Associate Editor for Analyst, so I'd just like to say a few words about this journal. Analyst is a general science, uh, analytical science journal and covers uh, all areas of interdisciplinary detection science. And, uh, We've, we've been very lucky with uh, receiving uh, more and more submissions to analysts last year, so I'm very pleased to say that we'll be publishing 24 issues uh, for <coughs> the beginning of next year. RSD Publishing is also growing, and we've recently launched several new journals. Um, on the top left, you can see Metalomics, which you may also be familiar with. I mean, also the editor for Metalomics, and this looks at uh, all research which provides insights into the role of metals in the biological sciences. Analytical Methods is another new journal, and we really hope this new journal will sit alongside as a sister journal to Analyst, looking at the applications of analytical technology in all areas of uh, research which cover um, problems of societal concern. Nanoscale uh, is also a new journal published by RSC Publishing, and uh, this, we are very pleased to say, is published um, in conjunction with the National Science Centre for Nanoscience and Technology here in Beijing. Food and Function is another new title from RSC Publishing, and this looks at the chemistry and physics of food and linking this with health and nutrition. <coughs> Lastly, Chemical Science is also a new title, and this aims to be our flagship <coughs> channel for the chemical sciences. As these new journals are, um, are freely available online, I would encourage you to please go and have a look, and I hope you will find something of interest. Lastly, thank you very much once again for coming, and I do hope you enjoyed this <coughs> conversation.